Hi everyone, welcome to Cocaine's uh, master planning for the expansive whoring on Lord of Ultima. I'm going to walk you through grabbing uh, the needed plugins and the strategy for how to lay out the cities as fast as possible in the shortest amount of time. If you're into building cities and a lot of them you want to build quick, you want to build efficiently, you want to waste time um, going through and calculating out um, your resource production from every single square on your map. So this is what I use. I use LU Tweak, I use Grease Monkey, I use um, an app that a friend developed. So first you want to grab uh, Grease Monkey. Grease Monkey is a plugin that will work with both uh, Firefox as well as Chrome. So just Google it, Grease Monkey, add-ons for Firefox. Um, you'll come here download, install, it's safe, it's not going to do anything to you. Um, once you've got uh, Grease Monkey installed, then go up here and type in L-O-U and then Tweak, T-W-E-A-K, and go and grab L-U Tweak for Grease Monkey. Simple as that. Um, you hit this install button, um, it doesn't install any program, it just takes a string of code. Um, I'll show you the code right here. It just takes a string of code and puts it inside a, a macro add-on inside of your browser. Uh, again, Firefox and Chrome. I don't use Internet Explorer because it's a piece of shit. So hit the install button. It'll instantly install. Then you want to close Firefox, reopen it. After you reopen Firefox, you're going to have some options. Um, here to the left would be the options I'm talking about, this L and the P. Uh, with L, you tweak. You'll also have an options button below your chat pane um, that you can go in here and use some stuff. I'm not going to go through all these right now. It's not necessary. So we're looking at a basic city, brand new. We haven't built anything. Uh, what we want to do is we want to calculate with building 72 structures, what is going to be the most efficient uh, resource building placement? So, we're, first thing we're going to do is we're going to click the L. We're going to go to Share String. Um, we're going to select all the text that's inside this box, and you can do that by hitting Control A and then Control C. I uh, mean, Control A is copy all, Control C is to copy. Um, after you copied this string, then we're going to go into um, a friend of mine who's developed an app to calculate this resource placement um, and I'll provide this link shortly. It's uh, loof78.fspot.com uh, L-O-U underscore city. Um, that'll be provided shortly. I'll put a link underneath the video so you can see that. So we go here, paste the code into this box, hit compute. Um, I'm not the author of this uh, little web page. I didn't design any of this. This is a guy who's in one of my alliances on another server. I take no credit for it. It is his entirely, and it is wonderful. Um, after it computes the resource production placement, you have two choices. You can click on this link and look at the uh, flash viewer that shows you instantly the layout, or you can copy the share string at the bottom. We're going to copy the share string because we'll be using that in a moment. So highlight the share string, make sure you get the entire thing, and then hit Control C. Um, now it's been copied, and we'll click on this link just so we can show you real quick what it looks like. Um, so according to that app, it has calculated that the total production would be 59,963. Now bear in mind that's for 72 buildings. So for 72 buildings, that would be your total output, uh, which is going to be more efficient than trying to use any of the old school grid layouts that are no longer efficient. Um, so looking at this, uh, there's no iron, which uh, is kind of a negative because you will need that, but this city is primarily for resource expansion which generally excels off of stone and wood production. So we'll go ahead and by default we're going to add um, some farm production because you will need um, food for your research. So we'll just toss in, um, I put the mail, i drop a warehouse over here to help storage. Um, so you can go ahead and add uh, a couple of farms to this layout. Now your total production is 67,230. Um, you know, you'll see when we go back to the city, there's also an iron cluster here that they've taken out. Again, this app was designed only to show you what's the best for 72 structures. So um, I'm going to go ahead and put an iron node in here because that's the same as what we've already got. It just took it out. So. Total production now is 67,920. And we'll add the foundry, which is here. Uh, now we're looking at 68,438. 
Um, and now it still leaves us room to go ahead and build the mage tower, which we're going to need later on to purify resources. Um, I always build at least three barracks so that in the initial expansion phase, these three barracks can help you for sending out 3,000 troops to raid dungeons. Um, quickly they become obsolete, but in the early game you're going to need it for the gold. Uh, it's going to be faster. Um, I don't go too heavy on marketplaces because with purifying resources you don't need to ship stuff around that much. So we've only used 85 buildings, so we have 15 buildings that are still available to us um, even after being able to produce 68,438 resources an hour. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm not going to copy this code. I'll go ahead and use just the 72 I've already copied. Let's go back to our, our original view. Hit L for layout. Here's a share string that we copied earlier. We're not going to go into that. We're going to the overlay layout. Um, the code that we copied earlier from my friend's website, which is right here at the bottom of this page, we're going to take that code. We're going to paste it in overlay. We're going to hit apply layout. Now it's going to show you the building placement for everything. Um, these images are going to stay here in the history of your browser. So if you leave the city, don't worry. When you come back, they'll still be here waiting for you to build. Um, what I always like to do in the beginning phase is I want to make sure that I set up a warehouse as one of the first structures that I build. Um, and the warehouse needs to capitalize off of stone and wood. So I'm going to drop a warehouse here. I'll drop another warehouse over here. Um, then we want to take and I always build the cottages first. We'll build all the cottages that it laid out for us um, initially. So the first two buildings I do warehouses. Um, the next eight are all cottages. This just helps to cut down on the construction time of the townhouse. Uh, and then let's just upgrade this townhouse as high as it will go. Now what I do is I, I max it out so it's going to go to Town Hall 4. And what I do is I come back in a half hour or 20 minutes or whatever it will be. In this case it will be about 3 minutes. I come back in 3 minutes and by using the two warehouses, and if we upgrade both of those to a level 2 or higher, you're going to be able to use um, one of the items from the store that gives you uh, you know, 30,000 wood, 30,000 stone, or if you're in the early, early game and you're not a prince yet, um, it would be something under knight or baron. Maybe it's 5,000 or 15,000, something of that nature. Um, so you want to have the storage so you can use something like that and jumpstart your building up to uh, your town hall up to a level 6 or a level 7, which that jump um, gives you the ability to have the higher storage as well as going ahead and laying out all of these buildings that you've already mapped with the overlay. Um, that's about it. I'll put some links below for um, the Friends app on this website. I'll put a link for LU Tweak and for Grease Monkey uh, so you guys can use that. I hope this uh, helps you. Again, this is just a tutorial for helping on fast expansion and quick building construction. This uh, saves you a lot of time from calculating out all the building uh, resource production per square on your map. Alright, have a good one.